there's things you read about in books that make you question reality itself. You find too many similarities in all ancient civilization throughout the years. And when you talk about it with others, they think you've gone mad. The others don't believe me about what I discovered near the massive beam of light a few nights ago. I know what I saw was real. As God is my witness, what I'm about to write is what really happened here in Antarctica. Romero will search this area for any hidden bases or weaponry left from the war. After that is done, we can report back to our higher-ups and head back home with everything we've found so far. What if in this last area we search, we find something that is too powerful to handle, like a mister? We first have to see what we're dealing with. Once we have an idea of how to take them out, we ambush them, but only at night. Why nighttime? It makes it easier for us to ambush them while they're asleep and their guards are silenced. Once that's done, we'll- Admiral, you might want to see this! It. it could be the Germans using a searchlight to signal a plane or something. There ain't no searchlight. How can we tell? Only one way to find out. If I don't return by sunrise, Sheen Carson will be in charge. As I flew through the Arctic tundra, the light got more brighter, but for some odd reason the temperature started to rise. I could have circled back to base, but for some odd reason the light was drawing me in like a moth, and curiosity was getting the best of me. this place. How is it possible for the temperature to shoot up like that? Hello, Admiral.
couple locals greeted me once I arrived. They were all wearing strange tight clothing. Some of them were as tall as eight feet with large blue heads. A woman who I never met before knew who I was. It was very strange at first, but a part of me felt safe in their presence. They laid me down on some weird bed that I've never seen before. I started to feel lighter, both emotionally and physically. As I sat on her sofa, the mysterious woman, who I later named Sapphire, gave me a bowl of fruits that appeared out of nowhere from her table. I need to know, where am I? What was that weird bed you put me on? How did you spawn a bowl of fruits from nowhere? And most importantly, have you seen any other outsiders around these parts? You're a very curious being, Admiral. The world you ventured is known by many names, but one that has been stuck with it the most is Agartha. Agartha, huh? Yes. The bed you rested on is known as a med bed. As for your fruits, a replicator. Interesting. As for outsiders, there hasn't been one for thousands of years. Hmm. I've never seen people like you before, let alone your friends. Tell me, what exactly are you people? I am a Pleiadian. The, the man with the sapphire skin is a Archurian. We're celestial beings from different worlds who settled in this planet many years ago. Okay, was not expecting that answer. But if you're beings from a different planet, why are you even here? There will be a time when all of humanity ascends, and when that day comes, evil beings from different worlds will vanish, and a new era of peace and light will be born. Hmm. Come. There's so much I want to show you. Movies will always push this fear over everything that was different. But my journey today shows that if you don't explore the unknown, you'll never know what amazing wonders you'll discover, the people you meet, and the moments you create. In all my years of exploring, that had to be the greatest adventure of my entire life. Will anyone believe me? Probably not. Will I ever return to Agartha? Only time will tell, but I do know one thing. I will never forget my friends.